Hello, and welcome to another episode of China Record. Last week, the U.S. government announced a new wave of bans on semiconductors. This ban was intended to curb China's latest developments. But do you know what this ban means for China's semiconductor industry? As we all know, since the trade war began, the ban has put China in a position where it has to develop more and become resistant to the ban. As of today, the ban from the U.S. government has ushered China's semiconductor industry into a new era. What is this new era? You may ask. I will do my best to explain more in this episode. With the recent ban on AI chips, it may give Huawei a chance to fill the void. <laughs> The new ban. The U.S. Department of Commerce dropped some news on Tuesday, October 17, 2023. They're planning to put a stop to the sale of these super advanced AI chips to China in the next few weeks. This is all about closing some loopholes that appeared after they put restrictions on AI chip exports last year. Now, this is going to affect the export of NVIDIA's A800 and H800 chips. But it's not just them, it could also impact chips sold by Intel and AMD. And there's more. Other rules are likely to make it harder for companies like Applied Materials, LAM, and KLA to sell and export their semiconductor manufacturing equipment to China. So yeah, things are definitely shaking up in the tech world. After the 2022 rules were brought in, US-based chip design company NVIDIA developed new chips, the A800 and H800 that were slower than its state-of-the-art A100 and H100 chips but complied with the criteria for chips that could be sold to China. In November 2022, GPU maker NVIDIA launched the A800, a new advanced chip which it believes is compatible with U.S. government export controls on China. The chip represents what is thought to be the first effort by a major U.S. semiconductor company to get around Washington sanctions which are designed to limit Beijing's capabilities but could prove damaging for businesses that rely on the Chinese market. The A800 is an advanced GPU with more limited capabilities than the A100. It apparently offers a chip-to-chip -chip data transfer rate is 400 gigabytes per second, compared to the 600 gigabytes per second on the A100. At least two Chinese websites run by major server makers are offering the A800 chip in their products already. One of those sites, Inspur, previously used the A100 chip as a selling point in promotional material. The H800 chipset is a modified version of NVIDIA's flagship H100 chipset, which is designed for artificial intelligence applications. The H800 chipset has a reduced chip-to-chip -chip interconnect speed of 300 gigabytes per second, which is lower than the H100 speed of 600 gigabytes per second. This modification allows NVIDIA to export the H800 chipset to China, as the H100 chipset is subject to U.S. export restrictions. The H800 chipset is being used by the cloud computing units of major Chinese technology firms, such as Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent. The H800 chipset is also expected to support a growing number of startups focusing on developing large language models and generative AI technologies. The restrictions cut off a big and growing market for AI semiconductors and could raise concerns that the Chinese government will retaliate economically against U.S. firms doing business in the country. However, NVIDIA seems to have anticipated the restrictions and said in August that they would not have an immediate material effect on earnings, but might hurt over the long term. The Biden administration is tightening its restrictions on the export of artificial intelligence chips and manufacturing equipment to China. The new restrictions are designed to prevent China's military from importing advanced semiconductors or equipment. The AI chipset in China Everyone is talking about the AI chipset in China these days because the U.S. government just made it harder for them to get the best AI chips. The U.S. says they don't want China to use the chips for making scary weapons, but China is not happy about that. They say the U.S. is being unfair and messing with their trade and tech stuff, and they will fight for their rights. China really wants to make their own AI chips, because they think AI is super important for their economy and society. There is a report by AskCI.com that says China had 50 awesome AI chip companies in 2022, and the top three were high silicon. MediaTek, and Horizon Robotics. 
They make chips for all kinds of cool things like phones, cloud, self-driving cars, smart cities, and more. In China, the AI chips has different purposes, such as improving their products, services, and operations. Here are some examples of how China's companies use AI chips. Alibaba. Alibaba is one of the largest e-commerce platforms in China, and it uses AI chips to power its cloud computing, online shopping, and smart logistics services. For example, Alibaba has developed its own AI chip called Hanwang 800, which can process huge amounts of data faster and more efficiently than traditional chips. Alibaba also uses NVIDIA's A800 and H800 chips to support its natural language processing and speech recognition applications, such as ChatGPT, a chatbot that can generate realistic and engaging conversations. Baidu Baidu is one of the leading internet search engines in China, and it uses AI chips to enhance its search engine, online advertising, and autonomous driving technologies. For example, Baidu has developed its own AI chip called Kunlun, which can handle complex tasks such as image recognition, natural language processing, and voice synthesis. Baidu also uses NVIDIA's A800 and H800 chips to power its Apollo platform, which is an open-source software system for self-driving cars. Huawei Huawei is one of the largest telecommunications equipment and smartphone makers in China and it uses AI chips to improve its network infrastructure, mobile devices, and smart city solutions. For example, Huawei has developed its own AI chip called the SIN, which can support various scenarios such as cloud computing, edge computing, and Internet of Things. Huawei also uses HiSilicon's Kirin chips to enable AI features on its smartphones, such as face unlock, scene recognition, and gesture control. These are just some of the examples of how China's companies use AI chips for their businesses. There are many more companies that are developing and applying AI chips in China, such as Tencent, Xiaomi, ByteDance, SenseTime, CambraCon, and more. China is aiming to become a global leader in AI chips by investing heavily in research and development, innovation, and talent cultivation. An opening for Huawei Technologies the U.S. government is trying to stop China from getting the best AI chips, but that might backfire and help Huawei grow bigger in its own backyard. Huawei makes $7 billion from selling AI chips in China, and it's been working on making its own versions of NVIDIA's top selling chips, like the A100 and the H100. NVIDIA used to be the king of AI chips in China, with more than 90% of the market, but now they might lose their edge because of the U.S. rules. China will step up the development of artificial intelligence chips as part of its efforts to promote fundamental technological breakthroughs in AI and introduce the applications of the cutting-edge technology in more sectors, the country's top industry regulator said. Spokeswoman for the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology said at a news conference that the development of AI, represented by large language models or LLMs, features rapid technological innovation strong application potential and fierce international competition. Thank you for watching my video on China Record. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Your support means a lot to me and encourages me to bring more new episodes. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a comment and share it with others. Stay tuned for more exciting content.